The earthquake occurred in January 12th, I think, of 2010. Uh, and it was a devastating thing. Before we knew it, in four days, Dr. Lovejoy and his son and colleagues had not only organized a team and resources, but arranged to get in. My father really was the one who put together that leadership team. But he also really helped us make some of the really difficult decisions about treatment. And uh, his, his experience and his leadership was invaluable. As we were driving in the hospital, there was a helicopter landing in the soccer field. So we all got out and we helped start unloading the patients that were coming in. We all uh, just began to work. Our 73-bed hospital, by the end of a couple of days, was 600 patients. At one point, three kids came in who had been crushed. Their parents uh, were killed and they had lost limbs. And I just, I just broke down and cried. I had to uh, <clears throat> just go away and get myself together. There are 50,000 amputees, 10 more thousand after this earthquake, and there was zero certified prosthesis in the country. They needed a prosthesis laboratory. Uh, friends uh, at, who ran the Jacksonville shipyards and another one who's the owner of it said, oh, we can build you a lab right here and we can ship that over, but you'll have to tell us what to put in it. And they did that in an incredibly short time. An amputee in a third world country is sort of thrown out by society. If you can give an amputee a leg, they can take care of themselves. And uh, I think that really has the biggest impact on their society. To make things sustainable, we needed to train Haitians to treat Haitians. We've given them the tools, we've given them the facility, and the educational opportunity so they can learn the skill and then treat their own people. The work that he's done to inspire others and to bring others into his work I think will be his lasting legacy, which I hope plays out over the next 30 and 40 years as my generation of young orthopedists uh, carries on his work. His core values, his beliefs, his faith um, really drives him and allows him to accomplish uh, incredible uh, acts of, of goodness and kindness.